Circuit 12 investigators exclusive driving up revenue. Taxpayers outraged over what they call car tax gouging by their cities and the seemingly impossible appeals process. Scratches all up and down the side. There's body rot underneath both, both sides. The owner of this rusty old truck decided to appeal her bill and lost. And guess what? She's not alone. That's right. The Target 12 investigators went back three years to uncover how many appeals there have actually been and whether it's even possible to win. If you're among the frustrated, you will not like what we found. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the exclusive details. Taxpayers across the state seeing red. They tell us their cars are worth more according to state standards than they were when they paid for them. We got ripped seats, ripped headliner coming down. Kelly Lavasier from Warwick drives a relatively beat up 1996. That's the air conditioning. Doesn't work. She did not have a tax bill until this year when that old truck was valued at what she considers a shocking $4,200. They're and acting as if it's a perfect brand new car. 1996 Dodge yeah. Ram. Exactly. And it's so far from the truth. This is where her appeal and all the others end up in a stack in the hands of the Vehicle Value Commission. Your odds, not good. Sometimes there's a mistake, but most often times there isn't. We discovered sometimes is an understatement. After filing a Freedom of Information request for the numbers from July 1st of 2009 to this September, three years of records. 3,242 appeals were filed. Not one, zero of those taxpayers won their appeals. So we dug deeper to find out just how that controversial value is set. Value Commission members tell us they are literally going by this book. They look at your appeal, but by law are required to assign the clean value from the National Automobile Dealers Association. And it doesn't matter what your vehicle is worth now. It's not the value that uh, an individual would get for their motor vehicle today. It's the value that the NADA put on that, that tells us what the, the dealers would have gotten for the vehicle last December. That's obnoxious. Erin Williams wondered why her pickup is now, according to the state, worth about 20% more than she paid four years ago. It is the principle. If they had valued the truck fairly, I wouldn't have a complaint. Would you pay $4,200 for that vehicle? No. We also took your concerns to local leaders. Because of the tax situation in this city. We watched the tax tiff get lightning hot. Part of this outrage was provoked by political enemies, according to Republican Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian, who tells us out of 32,000 car tax bills, there are so far about 200 appeals filed from his city. And like most mayors and city managers, he aims the blame at Smith Hill for the decision to cut the state's excise tax reimbursement and they walk away from a program that they created and they leave you with a 14.6 million dollar gap you've got to figure out how you're going to balance your budget in Warwick at least without the higher car tax Avedesian says it would mean icing skating rinks closing parks draining pools locking libraries and cutting human services all erased from the budget to help cover that lost excise tax it still wouldn't equate to how much we'd have to cut and the officials we talked to for this story agree the only ones who can change the way your clunker is valued are your lawmakers. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Right now our investigation continues on WPRI.com. We answer some of your most commonly asked questions about car taxes. You'll find an interactive map breaking down tax rates for every city and town so you can see yours, how yours compares that is. Plus we dig deeper into the appeals process. We are breaking down how many appeals have been filed and rejected over the last three years.